and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am taste testing the Easter range from M&S. I have been tagged on countless occasions from you guys on Instagram and even on TikTok actually, of some of the things that M&S have brought out, mainly the two things that I included in my thumbnail. And yes, I know we still have a couple of months until Easter, but they're out in the shop, so, so if you can buy it, why not try it? Just <laughs> I haven't got as many things as I normally do because, oh my God, you need a small loan to get multiple of MLS's Easter products. I'm not joking you. Some of the prices, I'm like, how, how? And why anyway the products that i do have look really really good so i am super excited for this one and as always before we start please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you watch me and you're not subscribed because still 40 percent of my views come from people who are not subscribed so i would really appreciate it if that was you you would subscribe thank you okay let's start have i got the receipt actually that was my other MS receipt that cost me an arm and a leg i'm gonna start off with this this is the giant speckled egg bar it says milk chocolate bar with milk chocolate mini eggs with a speckled candy shell and mini candy coated chocolate nibs so basically this is like the mini eggs bar the difference is the price point this cost me five pounds why is a chocolate bar of this size costing five pounds and then literally as soon as you open it it's straight into the chocolate bar does that need does that not need like Mmm, okay. <laughs> I really always go through the motions in these videos. But yeah, that actually does look really good. Like you've got proper big eggs in there. Okay, I'm gonna break this without getting it all on my carpet. <sighs> oh my gosh, I need to break a nail. I needed to get my nails done last week and they was fully booked. They're a bit weak, but luckily we haven't broke one. I did broken out. It's completely lifting up. Oh no. I wasn't even paying attention then. That is really good. But it's hard to eat. Right, I need to bite it in half. What a crumble. Tastes delish, but doesn't compare to a mini egg and very, very annoying to eat. One minute, I need to go and put a plaster around this before it rips off in this video. Right, what are we going for next? Actually, we might as well stay on the same theme. These were a pound and these are a bag of the speckled eggs. So what are in the bar? Right, so these are quite big. Oh my God, that is so embarrassing. Mmm, I love them. I mean, they're exactly what they say on the tin. They're just orange chocolate eggs. They taste very, very similar to Terry's chocolate orange. And you do actually get quite a few in there. It looks like a teeny tiny bag, but when you get a bag of mini eggs, it's just a big bag and there's barely any in there anyway. And these ones are really big. So yeah, I like them. I should have tried the normal ones. I probably tried the normal ones last year, to be fair. I forget. Let's try a dairy-free chocolate. So this is the M&S Bunny Bar. And obviously it's just gonna be normal chocolate, but dairy-free. Oh, is it just dark chocolate? Is that all it's going to be? Because I can tell. Yes. It's a bit misleading because why don't they just like say dark chocolate dairy free bar rather than... I don't know. Most vegan chocolate is dairy. I'd be more interested if it was like dairy free milk chocolate. Ugh. That isn't even nice. That tastes like vinegar. I've eaten dairy free chocolate. And I can promise you this is not a nice one. This is an opinion of someone who eats dairy. So take what I say there with a pinch of salt. If you like your chocolate vinegary, maybe you'll like that. Next, I'm going to try some hot cross buns. So I'm actually going to go and heat these up and put some butter on these. This says four hot cross buns enriched with salted caramel flavoured fudge, toffee pieces, caramel flavour white chocolate with caramelised sugar and white chocolate. These sound absolutely gorgeous. Let's make sure I can actually put it in the fridge. This, see, this is where it gets you. It says, this product is not suitable for a domestic toaster. I nearly did this last year, but then some people commented saying, oh, I didn't even read that a moment in the toaster fine. But then also, do I really want to test my luck at the minute? Not really. How am I gonna, what am I gonna, what does it suggest? Anyway, I'll figure it out. Let me heat this up, put some butter on and we'll see how we are. So I have made it 
It doesn't smell of much, you know, I ended up putting it under the grill, by the way. Oh my God, that's so good. You always have to think though, is it good? Or is the lure pack on top just good? <laughs> mm. The blonde chocolate is very subtle. Let's try the top, because that's where it has like the caramelized sugar bit. I love this. That bit there was so good. I would say that the description on the packet sounds better than what it is, but it's really good, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm getting all the parts of the actual description, but I love it. Last year, I tried loads of hot cross buns. I would say that this is up there. This is probably second. Last year, I, my favourite, I think, was the strawberry one from Sainsbury's, was it? Oh, do you know what? The blonde chocolate spread from M&S. Mm. Next up, I'm going to try the Easter Party Percy Pigs. What do these say? It just says soft fruit flavour gums made with fruit juice. So, I don't think there's going to be too much excitement in these. But I thought I'd better give them a go. Mmm. Ew. That's like when the butter's gone on my freaking plaster. I love that. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't know. They don't taste like the other Percy Pigs. I think it's because there's like multiple flavours in one, but I really like them. That's my type of sweet. Very nice. Okay, okay. I'll stop you from waiting. Here we have the M&S. Oh, I haven't even been telling you the prices. So the Hot Cross Buns were £1.65 and the Percy Pigs were £1.65. That's expensive, isn't it, for some sweets? And the Vinegar Bunny Bar <laughs> was 65p. This, £8. That is about right for an Easter egg. A hollow milk chocolate round with shortcake biscuit pieces. If you haven't tried M&S's Extremely Chocolatey Biscuit, you need to. Oh, it's quite big. Whoa, that is cool. I don't know what all that, like, marbling stuff in it is. Should I take a bite? What should I do? No, absolutely not. How am I going to get into this? Whack it with my phone? What do you think? Oh, for fuck's sake. First reaction is, it's not as thick as I thought. Oh, it's literally gone everywhere. I'm such an idiot. I thought it was going to be proper thick chocolate, but actually very thin. Yeah, it's really thin. What the heck? Let's go for a side bit that looks a little bit thicker. Okay. <gasps> no. I think this one is broken because look at that bit at the back. Can you, can you guys see that? That bit over there. I feel like all the chocolate's like fallen to one side. No, I'm gonna literally rip my nail off if I try and get that bit. Somebody on TikTok said to dunk it in tea, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've made a tea because I've got a couple of biscuits coming up. Oh, yes. Mmm, oh, that's so good dipped in tea. Mm. Don't get me wrong. It's really nice, but I personally think that the Cadbury's ones, because obviously Cadbury's do ones with all bits in it now, are a lot better. At the end of the day, it's just little bits of biscuit. And it's not, it says shortbread, but I'm not getting that like, I would say shortbread is kind of more buttery and creamy. Whereas these, the biscuits, they're not blowing me away. You know, like, because we all ask for like one Easter egg or fab, like parents or your other half or your friend, or whatever, or you buy one for yourself or three, whatever. <laughs> I wouldn't like choose this one personally next up we have these easter spiced biscuits and on the front it says traditionally given on easter sunday lightly spiced and studded with diced fruit and a sugary crunch i've never heard like i don't know they say traditionally given but not in my tradition they smell like kind of like a hot cross bun Kind of reminds me of a ginger nut, actually. All butter spice flavoured biscuit with currants, sweet and dried cranberries, and candied lemon peel. I actually quite like that. If I was around someone's house and they offered them to me, I would eat them. But they wouldn't be my choice. I'm going to try it dunked in tea. Mmm. Oh, much nicer once they've dunked in tea. That's the buttery biscuit I'm talking about. If you're a fan of the spiced flavour, I'd recommend them. Let's do something a bit boring. I thought, oh, I better just pick this up because, oh my goodness, I forgot the prices again. How is my brain working like this? Then biscuits were £2.50 and you get eight, which I think is quite good because they're not small. Okay, so this one is 65p. Same price as the vinegar chocolate. Oh, it's actually really cute. I wasn't expecting it to actually be like a proper good shaped bunny, but that is so cute. Off with his head. I don't know. When I think of Aero, I think of like creamy chocolate. 
I wouldn't say that that's creamy, it's quite dense. I'd much prefer an Aero product. I don't think much of this, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, but not great, pretty standard. Next up, we have a hot cross bun product. These cost me five pounds, there's six in them, and it says hot cross bun whips filled with mellow and gooey hot cross bun caramel topped with spiced white and milk chocolate. Spice is very hit and miss, so we'll see. These are cute though, but they, do you know what they remind me of? Like little Guinnesses. Okay. Should I bite the top off or what way am I going with this? Usually that's the bottom and I would bite the bottom off. Mmm. Mmm. It started off nice and then it kind of went to like the potpourri spice. It's subtle. It's not overpowering. It looks cute if you're doing like an Easter spread. Like literally as soon as you bite that bottom off. Oh no, just say gooey caramel. Okay, let's, let me finish it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Probably the best to last. It's not caramel. I mean, it is caramel. One minute. I've got a couple things to go. So I'm going to try the cereal egg. I haven't even tried the clusters of these. I don't think I have. I get lost. This sounds right up my street. So this egg is £8, and it's quite a big one. And it says, extremely crunchy. White chocolate egg with sugar confetti, marshmallows, cornflake, and cereal crisp pieces. Like, why haven't I tried the clusters of these? Because this sounds like I made it. Like, if, if M&S said this was made by somebody, and you had to guess who, you'd all think of me, right? Because that sounds like my heaven. Right, another one that I've got to try and get into. I can't believe I broke my nail. <gasps> Oh my god, this is honestly so cute. Look how cute is that? Let's give it a whack whilst it's in the wrapper still. If you look in the egg, right, this bit over here, like the back, barely got anything in it. And then, where is it? This bit up this side, look how much chocolate and I don't know if you can see properly. Look how much like chocolate is in that corner and then that corner, nothing. So let's try and get the really good bit. I'm just gonna try this bit. Oh. oh my God. Trust me, nobody's eating a lot of this. This is very sweet. It's kind of like a sweet explosion in your mouth. The sweetness of it is kind of churning inside of me. But then I have also just eaten loads of sweet stuff to be fair i don't know if i've ever had like a white whole easter egg so obviously naturally it is going to be a lot sweeter but if you have a sweet tooth and you like something with a bit of crunch this is probably made for you not for me when i eat an easter egg i like to eat quite a bit of it you know crack it open and then you look back down and you're like oh shit <laughs> it's gone but with this you could eat a couple pieces and be done with it next up we have a bag of caramel eggs so this bag of caramel eggs were two pounds they're quite big to be fair i have a feeling i tried these last year you think not much to say on that i'm not going to drag out an explanation oh i would say it's a very nice caramel some caramels are a bit uh, this is a really nice one but then maybe it's not as sweet because i've just ate something that's super sweet can't go wrong. Right, the final thing, which is something that I think will be really good, all butter cookies with chunks of speckled chocolate eggs and milk chocolate chunks, three quarter coated in milk chocolate. I feel like I need to eat a bit of toast after this because the sweetness overload. These were two pound and you get six in there. Wait, didn't it say three quarter dipped in chocolate? Yeah, three quarter, that's a quarter. Oh, sorry, no, the back. <laughs> right. Is this just a normal cookie then, just dipped in chocolate? I think so. Mm. It's a very hard cookie. There's no softness about that. Let's dip it in tea. Oh! I don't know if you would have heard that, but look, the inside is like hollow. You can see through it. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, I'm not rating that. Why is it like, why has it got a hollow middle? That's so weird. It's like literally in half. I would snap it, but it would go everywhere. I would much prefer to dip my own ones in chocolate and choose a nicer cookie. That's a really crap cookie. I thought, how could they go wrong with that? Overall, I think that was actually a really successful taste test. It's always the things that you think will be the best that are not. Although I don't think anything was a letdown. 
Oh, actually, the without dairy and the last biscuit. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the start of my Easter content. I'm probably not going to be that much in a rush to try any more Easter stuff for a couple of weeks. It's just the M&S stuff. It has me and I was like, I need to. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up for my thumb. And subscribe to my channel if you're new here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.